So now we're going to begin uh, forecasting, and we're going to talk about forecasting in supply chains. Okay. So <clears throat> here's some examples of why one might want to think about forecasting. Here's a question that a lot of NGOs have been asking over the last few years. How much inventory should you preposition? Where should you put it, and how much do you need to have? Any, any organizations preposition inventory? Anybody in the room? Okay, maybe half of you. Okay, so here are some examples of, of groups that had talked to us at Georgia Tech about this. CARE was looking at prepositioning um, in preparation for responding to disasters worldwide. WFP was interested in delivering food aid, and they were uh, incorporating the, the fact that donations might come in at different times, and how could they use advanced donations to, to pre-purchase some, some goods. UNHCR was interested in supplying the needs of refugees with uncertain lead times on the supply side. <coughs> Excuse me. So all of these organizations were looking at prepositioning. And so if you're going to do something like prepositioning, you need to know, well, how much demand could I have? Where is the demand going to be? When is this demand going to be? And those are all questions that forecasting can help us to think about. Uh, and, and moreover, uh, systems approach, thinking about the entire supply chain system, can help to balance the so system, system performance measures like costs or speed or quality and the performance, but any of these systems uh, approaches need information, and that's why we have forecasting. Okay, so that's one of the reasons that I like to start with forecasting as one of the first things that we really talk about in depth in here is that forecasting informs everything else that, that you'll do, whether it's procurement and purchasing or planning of your transportation systems, et cetera. There are different lengths of time, so I think it was Dominic who mentioned in the planning process, right, you had short, medium, and long term. We can think about the same thing in forecasting, okay? So we can think about long term, and there your forecasting might be used to help you with strategic decisions, such as locating your warehouses or country offices or your programs, so really strategic decisions and network design. Your medium term forecasting might be used for things like your annual needs, your distribution, your inventory plans, making your contracts with your suppliers. Uh, many of you make contracts that have some kind of a, amount that's been promised by your supplier. I think you referred to this long-term agreements, but you also had a, another phrase that you used, um, something about the capacity they had promised you. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you, use, you may use forecasting to tell you how much capacity you want to reserve with your suppliers. You can also do forecasting on a short term in the, in the days to weeks uh, kind of time frame, and you might use this for scheduling or rescheduling resources. So uh, you mentioned um, scheduling uh, or you have volunteers, and in your case you don't do it very often, but sometimes you need to deploy and redeploy people on a uh, more local level and a more uh, ongoing basis, and so that might be on a short-term aspect. Okay? So forecasting can be used across these different time frames and across different kinds of decisions. Okay? And, and what does forecasting do? Forecasting tries to tell us something about what's going to happen. Mm -hmm.